morning guys so i have the new nas foundation and the patrick star setting spray guys the setting spray i kind of feel like i look like my makeup looks a bit draggy oh my gosh i really hope it doesn't look as bad as i think it looks like it looks a bit like too perfect like i've got a filter on mm, i need to bend up my lips anyway let's go guys today is going to be a jam-packed day i have pilates in the morning after that i want to go to church but last past two days i had an issue with my iphone um all the social media networks don't work and also google doesn't work but my emails come through and i can still call whatsapp doesn't work instagram doesn't work tiktok doesn't work google doesn't work I went to the place where I purchased the, the phone and they told me the technician is only in Monday to Friday. And yesterday was Saturday, today is Sunday. So yeah, I'm gonna try to go to another branch and see if they have a technician available there. And then hopefully I can also squeeze in church um, because there are quite a few um, Christian churches in Dubai and I would really, really love to go to church. It's just a very busy day. After that i have a nail collaboration you guys have already seen the place but today is going to be a very pink day okay so let's go guys i'm so excited
guys i am back today it was so so beautiful um so first because i don't think i actually spoke i probably did like a montage for you guys first went to the in the pink that place was so cute the stuff is so so friendly so sweet um it was so beautiful but floor pilates yo i don't think i recorded it properly for you guys like my thighs are painful everything is painful if they had like 10 reps of something i did like one or two and i'm so glad that i was able to get like a seat at the back of the class because if I was in the front of the class, I think I would demotivate everyone. Like, everyone would be demotiv demotivated because of me. I was so bad. I am so unfit. I've gained so much weight. Like, this is, yo, I have to be serious about my health. This is very bad. Like, I was in there sweating like crazy. Which brings me to a review. Yo, why didn't I clean this? Of one size, the setting spray. Remember, I got the small one. And then the NARS foundation. Let's start with the NARS foundation. A lot of people were like oh you look so beautiful but for me i feel like it's too red and i don't know i don't think they would though i don't think sephora would like <laughs> accept it back and give me credit because it's so i don't know i feel like it is my skin tone i don't know how you guys feel like when you look at my chest and you look at my face it looks like the same color but I feel so red undertoned, orange undertone. And I always thought I'm more of a yellow undertone. That's what I always thought. But I look, you know when you do saturation on your phone? That's how I look. I don't know what you guys think. I would appreciate some honest feedback. But yeah. Okay. Setting spray. Initially when I sprayed this stuff, I said... Like I feel like... I feel like my face has been frozen. Like it was like, and that time I didn't properly blend out like my, what do you call that yellow thing? Like the banana powder, but I use Laura Messier. Messier. Why can't I speak today? I used that. I hadn't blended it out properly and like things were looking a bit drag makeup-ish. So I was actually kind of concerned. I was like, oh my gosh, I need this to blend better, right? Because I'm really giving full, 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 full face, which is what I needed today because I had so much to do. After the exercise, makeup, when I was tapping it off, came right off. And to the point where I wanted to go to Sephora because here by my nose and up here, my makeup was literally once, like once I was tapping it, like because I was sweating after the whole um, Flo Pilates thing my makeup was like off and i was like i need a touch up i don't have any of my powders or stuff with me because i had such a small bag today i was carrying my chanel bag i don't have all my stuff with me and i'm sweating this makeup off okay after that i went to the eye store and that they didn't help me i feel like they didn't help me they just said oh your phone needs updates da, 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 da. yeah so we'll see if my phone works because I really do need it to work it urgently. Um, yeah, but so far, I'm not impressed, honestly. Maybe I should try it on a day when I, when I don't go. Because I don't think it's sweat proof. It's waterproof, transfer proof, smudge proof, all day wear. Yeah, I don't agree with these claims at all. Waterproof, I don't know. Transfer proof, that's a lie for me and my experience. Smudge proof, that's a lie for me. All day wear, that's a lie for me. From this one experience. But I have the whole can, I can try it again. Okay, so after that, I went to Itsu Nails and my toes. My toes, guys, I am so relieved and so happy to have that blue off. I will say though, the quality of the pedicure, the company that did the blue is fantastic. That pedicure did not chip, it did not crack. The colors did not fade, which I've had with other companies where it's like, especially the lighter colors, as you're wearing your sneakers, your closed shoes, the the gel, it changes her color. So it yellows or it becomes brown or something like that. None of that. So their service is actually very affordable and their quality is really good. Um, yeah, so I went back to Itsy Nails. It's always a great time there. I love it there. It's pink, it's cute. They have great service. It's comfortable. 
nothing bad to say i'm very 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 happy with my toes so i just have to do some deliverables now um because it was a collaboration going to the nail salon so yeah i just have some deliverables deliverables to handle now and yeah i had a really good day i'm exhausted but i just want to say god is so good like god cares about us so much i'm not going to tear up god cares about us so much that if you wake up and like like i'm so exhausted like i'm really burned out i'm overworked if you wake up and you say god today please give me the strength and the energy <laughs> to face today because i have things i've committed to before i felt like this this is one of the reasons why i don't like planning things well in advance i don't like saying yeah i will see you in two weeks time because what if in two weeks time i don't feel like it what if i'm tired in two weeks time so these are things that I already committed to and I just felt like I can't, especially the collaboration, I can't back out. Um, but I had such a good time. I had a fantastic time. I don't think I show. Did I show you guys my outfit? I hope I did. The Abaya is from AliExpress. Everyone loved it. Everybody's like, oh, this Abaya is so beautiful. It's from AliExpress. If you guys check my videos on here on YouTube, I did show you guys um, me unboxing it and everything. And the link is there as well. So you can check out that video if you're interested in this abaya. I had such a good time. I absolutely loved it. If you guys have tried floor pilates, please let me know how it was. And then if you've tried, I think it's called reformer, like the one on the machines. Please let me know how that is. I really struggled, but I felt like it was an interesting different type of exercise you know other than like the high cardio stuff where it's just like you know <laughs> where it's really hectic i thought this was really nice like just a different type of way of um doing things did move my flight i had a flight that was coming up and i actually was very very tempted to just leave but there are two expos that i really want to attend one that i've missed i think i missed it two times you know when you're trying to attend something and sometimes it's finances sometimes you're too busy sometimes you just like you have other commitments and you just keep missing an event so one of those i really want to go to because i've never gone to it and it's not really in my industry but it kind of is so i really want to go to that and then the other one is a beauty one i've gone to it before but the other time when i went i completely lost the footage for you guys um and i really want to go there and specifically look for suppliers um for skincare and these expos guys it's expensive to travel to them it really is expensive to travel to them sometimes if you count the amount of days between like when you're in a country and like the next expo it's literally cheaper for you to just stay in the country than for you to fly back to south africa and come back like sometimes that doesn't even make sense so when i got my notification from emirates that oh your flight is coming up i knew my flight was coming up but i was just like i don't think i'm actually gonna go back because you know these expos if you go once and give them your information they will email you and say hey next month it's pro beauty next month it's something something um and i have seen the value of these expos i met one of our handbag manufacturers at um what was it called the textile expo in dubai iatf something like that that's where i met one of our manufacturers um one of our suppliers and it was so worth it. Even if you get one really good supplier, that supplier could help you start your business. You know, for us, that supplier makes custom handbags. So you're able to start your own company like Galax Boy. You could, or like Luella, you know, you could create your own custom bags. And they have, one thing about China, guys, they have the manufacturing capacity. They have the legal support from their government. They have so much that really helps them like partner with you to start your business. So for me, the expos are worth it. They are very, very, very much worth it. Um, yeah, and God willing, I really hope to attend more expos outside of Dubai. I like Dubai because it's safe. It's so safe, guys, and I'm by myself. I, all I have is God. Um, yeah, I'm by myself. I have God. I have my mother's prayers. You know, I have my family support. But Nihamba you know um and it's always nice to be in a safe country yeah but if you're thinking about it, i know i'm going on a tangent if you're thinking about going to one of these expos i want to encourage you if it's in dubai you'll be safe you'll be fine 
this is such a safe place it's such a safe place um yeah i highly recommend it yeah anyway so i'm gonna be waiting for those expos and i hope i can vlog them for you guys because last time especially the beauty one i lost the thingy um the footage Pull me closer. summary of everything that happened so this spa didn't actually ask for the vouchers whereas the other branch of soul senses they asked for the vouchers for me to use their services and their facilities this massage was fantastic the entire experience the entire place for me far outweighed the previous place that i was at okay so this soul senses branch is my favorite unfortunately it's very far it is towards abu dhabi like literally and then also it's close to the outlet village it's close to legoland and it's also close to motion gate i think it's called but it's beautiful it's so gorgeous it feels like you're in another country everyone is friendly um and it feels very disneyland-esque you know it feels like everybody is just excited to be there the kids are so cute they look like little dolls they're happy they have toys they have the pool the adults are relaxed i saw this beautiful girl with curly hair she had like a little flower in her hair it is giving resort i feel like that would be a great holiday destination like if you're tired of like always visiting dubai and you're looking for a different vibe in dubai that would be a great place but yeah i absolutely loved it after that i got i think i'm not 100 percent sure it's not 100 percent confirmed let's say it's 90 percent confirmed i think i just got my first invite to my first international influencer event i am so excited um and i really want to dress up you know but i don't want to overspend and like all that kind of stuff because the theme so far the dress code is just elegant that's all they said so i'm gonna sit down and see if i can see how the previous events were um i haven't really received all the details like i don't know if it's 
like a sit down dinner type of thing or is it like we're all gonna be mingling like i don't know like is it like a private intimate thing or is it some mega thing where there'll be like 200 of us and there won't be enough chairs and my feet will be so painful and no one will even notice that i'm wearing heels because i'm not exactly short so even if i'm wearing flats i would be the same height as some people in their heels so like why should i make myself suffer in heels um but yeah once i figure out the details then i want to figure out what i'm gonna wear but most importantly the shoes because i've really been struggling at the outlet village i really wasn't able to vlog a lot but i tried on some shoes and my feet are wide my feet are really wide um and already just putting on the shoe i was uncomfortable so yeah i have thought of getting something custom made um, because I do know someone who can do that here and very quickly I just don't know if it's worth it because like I don't understand like what type of event is this okay is this something where it's like the like for me these influencer stuff have to make sense I cannot be dressing up looking great and there's deliverables let's just make that clear it's not like oh just consider this no it's a job you get there they tell you you need to post this 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 like it's not just fun you know um and for me especially because i'm self-employed i just feel like i don't have time like that like things have to make sense even if it's not financial let there be certain influences that i can meet and then learn about the industry in this city in this country you know like let there be something more oh okay that's why i left my home Put on my NARS foundation, which by the way did fantastic today. And the Patrick Star setting spray did fantastic because I was in the spa chair like this, and my makeup, my makeup doesn't even look like it. Crazy, doesn't even look like it. That setting spray, I need the big bottle. Um, yeah, anyway, it has to make financial sense. I am not interested in just gallivanting for the sake of gallivanting. I've got better things to do. And like, I also feel like I'm just getting old. I don't have that type of energy anymore. I just don't. So yeah, I am a bit sick. I'm going to take a few days off, um, maybe two days off. And then I will start like fixing the shoes, sorting out my hair as well. Like which hair am I going to wear? Am I going to wear my natural hair and a ponytail? What exactly am I going to do for this event? Um, yeah, I'll sort all of that later. For now, rest and relaxation is my priority. I am going to drink... A little something for this flu and then call it a night.